everyone, welcome back to another vlog week, day one. I'm so excited to be spending my week with you guys this week. Um, if you guys are new here or you don't know what vlog week is, I started doing it inspired by Julia and Hunter. Basically, it's just where I vlog like Monday through Friday and I post daily, so it'll be super fun. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update on some of these skincare products I picked up at Sephora which you guys definitely saw. I've been using kind of a new skincare routine. And my skin, honestly, I do have pretty easy skin, especially being in Texas, the humidity helps. I do have like two breakouts that are small just from traveling and normally I haven't even had that. I'll have all these linked down below. This is the Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C serum. I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere. It's very popular for good reason. It really brightens up your face. Okay, I always bring things down my neck as well. The next thing I've been using is a Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. Wow, what a name. I like this, but I'm definitely in the market to try out new hyaluronic acid products. If you guys have good recs, let me know. However, I do really, really like this. I just need to try more hyaluronic products. So if it was nighttime, I would stop in there, but I haven't been doing like overnight things at all, but I'm putting sunscreen on since it is daytime. This is my Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen. You guys know this is my favorite thing in the world. In case you guys are new here, it gives you like this perfect glow and it almost looks like you're wearing makeup. This is my number one holy grail product in all of 2020 and it's just so good. So anyways, I'm ready. I'm going to get my nails done in an hour. So I'm going to go upstairs, water my plants, and do my Devo, and then I'll probably kind of get ready to head out. Okay, so I'm up on the rooftop. I feel like this quality is a little bit weird. It's overcast. It's chilly. I'm like so happy I'm doing my Devo this morning. Oh, also, before I get into that, I got this water bottle. Okay, look. I said on Instagram story yesterday that a great business idea, which I know Healthish is doing it, but I want one that's like already a full gallon that I don't have to refill, even though that's probably a lot easier, whatever. Um, I just wanted to try out this kind of thing. Anyways, a good business idea would be to make these not ugly, you know? Um, sorry, they're doing yard work, but anyway, so I'm starting with this. So far, well, I did it too much. I'm behind on my water drinking. I'm gonna, my goal today is to drink all of this, okay? Anyways, in my last vlog of my Week in My Life in LA vlog, I said that um, I was a little bit embarrassed because my new Devo is like quite literally like the middle-aged um, Devo, okay? This is one of those things too where I feel like every Devo book looks ugly, no offense, but I'd heard really good things about this and I want to do um, a healing series on the living room, so I wanted to like do a Devo on it. So it's Healing the Soul of a Woman devotional. Um, it's actually really, really good. Um, I just wish that there were Devos that like looked cool. Like there just really are none. I literally cannot think of one that I think looks cool. On the agenda for today, I guess I should tell you. So I need to get my nails done just because they look so bad. It's like I've been putting it off for quite some time. Grocery shop. I'm filming a lot of things. Um, I'm recording a podcast. I have a lot on my to-do list. Oh, hopefully I'll be able to be Bob the Builder today and switch out my doorknobs as well. So we'll see, updates to come. I just changed into my topless sweats. These are definitely, what do I have in here? Nothing guys, these pockets are just weird. I have this new bag that I thought was so cute. This new bag came in the mail yesterday. It is so cute, I'll have a link down below. I don't know how to pronounce the brand name. I think it's someone, please tell me how I'm, Pronounce this. I'm gonna go to Starbucks and treat myself. Have a really just treating myself morning nails and Starbucks. Also feels really good outside, which makes me like feel like it's against the law to not get a fall drink. Oh my gosh. And it fits my Kindle and my vlog camera, which is like all I want ever in a bag. This is when I'm wearing um, my new Aritzia long sleeve, which is so soft. Talentless sweats. I have my platform Converse on. I just haven't even bothered getting other sneakers because other sneakers would probably have looked better with this. And then here is my bag. This is gonna be so cute, like with sweaters and long coats and all of that. I just think it's so cute, oh my God. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru right now and I just ordered a pumpkin spice latte. I haven't gotten that because it hasn't really been cold or I just wanted like a cold drink all season. I'm already kind of regretting it. Isn't that the worst like order envy? What do they call it when you're out with friends? Food envy? I think it's food envy. 
where you always want what the other person got like you're never satisfied with what you ordered um, that's me right now except for with no one these are my nails right now they're so bad I'm going grocery shopping today so there's no more well I'll still eat out but not as much okay yesterday I ordered DoorDash for like every meal because I got back home and I had a actually really productive Sunday from bed basically I got a lot of work done thank you thank you you too Wow, my first official pumpkin sized latte of the season. Here's the really ugly before. All right guys, here are my new nails. I don't know why, but I really wanted kind of like a brown taupey color. So that's what we have. Ignore the makeup on my hand. It is actually cold outside. Like I should have worn a jacket, um, but I'm about to head home. I have about 25 minutes until my recording. So I'm going to listen to some music, um, get home, get set up, and then I'm, ooh. And then, oh my gosh, I'm so cold. Ooh, I'm recording with Shannon, who's the CEO of the Financial Gym. Oh my gosh, I'm so cold, which is what I used for my, um, oh my gosh, financial advisors. It's like way more millennial Gen Z friendly. My car is so gross right now, guys. All right, guys, um, I'm getting ready to record more and more um i want an office outside of this house even though i love working from home so like i don't know about that but i would just love to have like an office space eventually just i have lots of lots of plans my i made like a vision board um yesterday which i haven't done in forever and i just have so many exciting things happening but the thing is, I kind of do want to get an office elsewhere within like probably the next year. I want to buy a car, I think now too, um, which I've always been planning on buying a car for graduation, but then I was like, no. And now I'm like, yeah. So anyways, just thinking out loud, but I would love to just turn this into like a closet glam room if that were to happen. But, but I also like having an office in my room. So in my house, I don't know. I always have a fireplace playing on my TV. I don't care if you think that's cheesy. Um, I love it. I also play it every night. I also play it like every night and it makes little noises and it just like really puts me in the best mood on my TV in my room. But it just like makes everything cozier. You know what I mean? If you guys are wondering, this is what I used to record. I have an entire Amazon shop page where I have all this linked um, as well as cheaper alternatives because this is definitely not the setup you guys need when you start off like just get as like a just get like a snowball microphone which I have that linked um those are great as well I actually have one in my closet this audio is definitely a lot better I'd always recorded in a studio as you guys know in LA and then when I moved here I wanted to you know keep the quality the same because it had always been consistently that kind of quality so that's why I got this, but it just depends on like how much you're willing to invest in stuff. Like at that point, this was like a full-time business thing for me. Um, so yeah, it's not even like it's that, that expensive, but it's definitely priced here. So I would start off with the snowball mic in case any of you guys are interested. <laughs> Trader Joe's I love Trader Joe's I feel like it is just like very therapeutic for me I already made my grocery list of things that I am making for the week so I'm really excited for that these people actually didn't see me oh, I'm a good surprise it's always something when I'm like filming myself in my car you know anyways I'm gonna pick a good podcast my phone is like dying so that's definitely not a good sign I'm also gonna make a fall arrangement also I literally hate this dog stuff in my backseat I should really take that down when the dogs are not in the car. Oh my gosh. Guys, I need to get so much food, but I need pumpkins. I love them. Wow. Wow, guys, so. I just got so many things. Trader Joe's didn't have like two of the things, so I need to go back to the store over, honestly, depending on what I want to make the certain recipe. They didn't have the flowers that I used for my last beautiful fall floral arrangement, which was my best one yet. So I did get a few other ones and I'm just going to make some arrangements for the house. Having flowers from the house makes me just feel so good. 
What other errands? I just have like a bunch of to-do things today. I need to get my car washed, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. All right, guys, I'm back from the grocery store. I just filmed a grocery haul for Instagram Reels. So if you guys want... <coughs> Love being a dog mom. Can you guys be quiet? Um, I just filmed a haul for Instagram Reels. So if you guys wanna see the haul, it's on there. I feel like I'm constantly sharing hauls with you guys on this channel. And I know a lot of you guys love them, but like, do I keep doing them? I don't know, I feel like they're repetitive. Anyways, I got a lot of food and a lot of flowers. It ended up being like 120 from Trader Joe's. Guys, chill. It ended up being like 120 from Trader Joe's, but I'm cooking a lot this week. So, on top, so, and I still need to pick up a few things, but I also got a lot of flowers, which is not my usual. I made my new arrangements. This one's supposed to be messy. I like how it's messy. I don't think everyone will. And then I went back to my classic one. Do hydrangeas, baby's breath, and eucalyptus, but it's really simple. I wish that I could have, honestly, this is gonna be perfect for the winter time, but my fall arrangements made last time were so much better, so whatever. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I showed this on Instagram story, but I got some new tanning stuff sent to me, which I'm excited for. I'm so excited for this. This is for a deal, you'll see it on Instagram, but I love these perfumes and colognes. This is from Every Jewels, so is the purple ring. Then I got these rings, the two that I'm wearing currently, and then this one, this one, and this one are from Amazon. I'll link them below, guys. They're like all under $20, so cute. I've had them before, but they always get stolen from me by my sister, so I ended up getting more, and I just love it. I also got this mic, which I haven't even put on yet, but I will soon. Which I'm excited to try. Natalie Barbie posted about it, and it's literally $25. And then new phone cases, which are exciting from Incipio, which I work with them on my podcast. Guys, I'm working. Fitz will not leave me alone. He's so big now. Oh! Anyways, I'm working from the couch so I can watch the dogs play, and I'm watching... Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm watching Hilary Duff on Whitney Cummings. All right, guys. It is 5.08 p.m. I still have some work to do tonight, but I'm going to take Fitz on a little walk. My dogs are the only dogs in the world that don't know that. I just never say, like I always say other things to them. I'm like, let's go home, like let's do this, let's do that. But I never say like, okay, I'm gonna go on a walk. So they don't get excited about it. I think I really just didn't want her to when she was little. And you were just, a, oh, I think I just almost punched you in the face. I'm so sorry. When she was just a little puppy. Coco just sits behind me every time I'm on this couch and just stares at my screen. Very nosy dog. And Fitz just sits next to us with one of his bones. Back in the kitchen, I'm in a great mood because I just went on a walk and Tim Ferriss just released his podcast with Matthew McConaughey. And Matthew McConaughey is like everything I need in my life. Like that is actually, we, I think we maybe lacked direction in the past, but now all the vision has come together. Um, also, I wanted to give you guys a little update on Talentless. Okay, so I got this set as a gift and I literally love this set so much. This is a medium. I probably should do a size small because they're really big. They, But like they literally are, they're not like the most flattering things. A part of me thinks it's just because they're too big for me. So I want to try some more stuff from them, but I was getting a lot of questions on Instagram about Talentless. The quality is definitely incredible. I just need to size down and so I feel like I can't give a fair assessment. But I got a grocery delivery from Instacart. I know it's like stupid because I already went to the grocery store today, but there was a few things I still needed and then I realized I don't have snacks, which is important. And also I needed to stay home and work. So like the $4 for delivery was worth it to me because I needed to get some work done. I also decided that I need to bake something this week since I was ordering some stuff and it just wasn't enough to justify an order from Instacart. So I'm gonna be making this like pumpkin dessert thing probably tomorrow, hopefully, I don't know. So I got taco seasoning. Guys, oh my gosh, they give me family size. White cheddar Cheez-Its are truly just like, this is my weakness, my guilty pleasure at all times, white cheddar Cheez-Its. Honestly, I mean, this is like so big, so maybe not this box, but a regular size box. Like, I really think that I could eat that in one sitting and like, that's not okay and I won't do it, um, but I would. Then I just got cornstarch. Always fun to have. Baking soda. Okay, so I ordered two taco seasonings, not realizing that the packets, there's four each, so now I have eight packets. Whatever. Like I said, baking soda, seasoning. Oh my gosh, ground beef. So I don't know if this is for the recipe I'm making tonight or tomorrow. Pumpkin for my dessert because I am going to bake, 
which will be a really fun like fall activity i need to also like watch halloween movies and do pumpkins so like maybe i can do that tomorrow stew tomatoes super exciting also guys canola oil for baking cream cheese frosting comment down below your favorite frosting mine is definitely cream cheese and then i got baking powder um for baking obviously so honestly this whole order if nothing else my white cheddar cheese its you know? Okay, so I'm going to cook. I need to figure out what recipe I'm making tonight. You guys know I normally always get my recipes from, from like the Modern Proper. That is like 90% of my recipe inspo. So, okay, so tonight I decided I'm making stuffed pepper soup. It's only 6 p.m. and honestly, I really just wanna like be in bed and start a new show and read and chill. Probably time to put these, but see what I mean by it's not flattering? Like it literally just way too big for my butt. Oh, you know what I am gonna do though? My recess drink. Just to wind down for the night, I'm pretty much all out of these. I will put the code below. I know so many of you guys have been trying these and loving these. If you guys deal with any anxiety, if you feel like you're just kind of always stressed, anxious, especially right now, working from home, being at home all day, in itself can give you anxiety. Like I don't know how to describe it. You know that afternoon, like, anxiety slump that you get in when you're working from home. These things save my life. Um, I'm obsessed. Recess is a hemp drink. Sparkling water infused with hemp extract and adaptogens. Calm, cool, collected. If you guys use, I believe it's Kenzie 15, you guys get 15% off. I'll have it linked down below, um, but definitely try it. I know that they can be a little bit pricier, but if you think about it, it's cheaper than a latte. And for what it does for you, it's really worth it to me. I love this stuff. My favorite things to do, you guys know, is like, pour myself a glass of like kombucha or recess or whatever. I kind of want to start trying natural wines just because I'm not like the heaviest drinker. I will drink from time to time, but I would love to get into natural wines because wine just makes my face puffy and like that's crossed a line, you know what I mean? But anyways, I love pouring like a nice glass in a wine glass to get the experience and opening my doors and like watching a show or listening to like a book club podcast. I'm really aging myself here. So I love doing that stuff which is what I'm doing now. I'm really making sure that I am just doing things that really refresh me because the winter quarter four time in work is definitely the busiest for me at least with like, I don't know if I'm doing vlogmas this year. It's honestly just like, I don't know. Let me know how bad you guys want vlogmas. That will heavily, heavily um make a difference even right now i have so much going on if i'm doing vlogmas all of that stuff and then i just have like holidays and everything so it just gets really really busy so i'm just staying on top of it and making sure that i am taking care of myself so can't get over how excited i am for these update on my water jug today guys complete fail also one i filled it up too much but like this is such a fail so i will try again tomorrow and maybe we'll get it get it tomorrow because like that is just unacceptable but there's just no coming back from that you know what i mean so i am making a stuffed pepper soup i have everything that i need right here i'm actually making an instagram reel of the recipe which i figured would be better because oh hi guys um what am i looking for oh yes oh no this is really high up here okay well well oh okay Let me know where you guys like me sharing like my recipes the most. I feel like Instagram is the best because it's just going to be a short reel. Everything will be there and you guys can just save it to your profile. Um, whereas in a vlog, I feel like they're so long and I don't know. I'm actually hoping to have to get my kitchen redone by the end of the year. And I would love to do like a cooking with Kinsey series, but I don't know if you guys would actually want to watch those. So let me know what you guys think because um, I would definitely be down. But anyways, I'm going to start cooking and do a little time lapse and then show you guys after. Of course, gotta get my wine glass for my recess drink. Also, the packaging is so cool. Guys, I need like a drink company because it's crazy. Like the thing that you guys buy the most that I share online is for sure drinks, like without comparison. So I really just need to, need to like capitalize on that, you know what I mean? But. So I will be posting the recipe to Instagram Reels. I am actually about to finish uploading and ed well, editing and uploading today's vlog so that I can go to bed, have such a nice, relaxing 
night routine almost. Oh, I can't wait. Gonna finish my book for book club. If you guys have not read along for book club, it's never too late to start. Next week, our third book club episode is going up with Brooke from Brooke Mangio, one of my best friends, also from Gals on the Go, which we are reading The Vanishing Half this month. Next month, I need to decide, oh my gosh, who am I reading with next month? I need to figure that out. Comment down below who I should read with next month. If you guys are like so new to this on my podcast, I do one episode a month where it's like a book club. So all of us read along to it. Then I read with someone else. So I have a guest come on. So we've had like one of my best friends from home. Then we read with Maddie from OK Sis. Now we're reading with Brooke. Um, and then we do the little book club recap. It's super fun. So anyways, um, comment down below what book we should read and who I should read with. But I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.